Well, good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome to We Can Wake Up Brace Party. Brace Party. Love our brace parties. Okay, I don't have, uh, it's just a person. It's a woman on me. But they say after six weeks of pain um, in a stiff neck due to a bulging disc, I was totally and completely healed. Uh, hallelujah, more healing is coming day by day. I love, you know what, I love the, I love hearing confession people yes. speak. I love hearing glass, three quarters full people speak. Yeah. This person is saying healing, more healing is coming. Yeah. I, they're speaking. Expecting. There's that expectation. Oh, it's so amazing. And we're expecting with you and you have and our prayers of agreement on that restoration and healing um, coming every single day. And there's a stronger and stronger. Yeah. So we're going to learn about today. Okay, so today, yeah. I want to talk about calling on our mind, our will, and our emotions to bless the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Psalm 103, 1 through 5, I want to read it. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. This, this psalmist is telling, telling himself, you're going to bless the Lord. Everything within me bless his holy name. And why it goes on to say, it says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Again, telling, bless the Lord, O my soul. Step up right now, mind, will, and emotions, get in line, and praise God, who forgives all of our iniquities, who heal, has healed all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who yes. crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your mouth is renewed like the eagles. You know, I know we shared, um, we've talked about Psalm 103 before, but as I was reading through this scripture, for me, what hit, what hit me is that there's going to be days where we wake up and we don't feel happy and we don't automatically feel joyful and confident. Maybe you're walking through a situation or a circumstance that doesn't just naturally bring joy out of you right now. But this scripture, King David in this scripture is encouraging you that we have the power to tell our mind, our will, and our emotions that they are going to praise. They are going to stand up and rejoice. They are going to be mindful in the midst of whatever we, that we're in, that God is a good God and that God has done amazing things already in our life. And that because of it, that should make us so hopeful that he's continuing to do and work out even more on our behalf and that he's going to continue to do good and awesome things in our lives. But I love this because for me, um, that literally in that psalm, that's exactly what the psalmist is doing in psalm. Yeah. David was, what I love about it is it's easy to read the word and think that these are superhuman people. David was a, a human. Just or, like even, you and I. or even to think, well, they didn't really face any hard times or tragedies yes. or something like that. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have shoe stores. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> well, because they didn't have makeup. <laughs> Who's the irons? Sometimes they had to get food from the sky. Like, <laughs> sorry, just a little humor there because I was really on a roll and you were on a roll. Then I just took us way off that roll. <laughs> Here's the thing. I gotta have a little nugget of fun. They were absolutely human like you and me. And I love that this psalm in Psalm 103, King David is encouraging himself and saying, hey, self, hey, mind. Whatever he was dealing with in that moment, he was telling his thoughts, he was telling his emotions and feelings, and he was saying, my decisions are going in, in the name of Jesus to line up with who I know God is, yeah. and I'm telling you, body, right now, I'm telling you thoughts right now, you are going to rise, and you're going to praise and bless the holy name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know, this is a, a very timely word for today, um, with today being uh, September 11th. Um, you know, the world is very much about remembering that day, and, and I'm not minimizing that, remembering it. Yeah. But we also need to remember who our God is, and that we put our hope and our refuge in His, right? And he's the, He is the one. He, he didn't bring this calamity, but He's the one to get us through the calamity, or the tragedy, or the challenge, or whatever. But on this day, um, that we remember who God is. And that's what this scripture really, really does is praise the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within us, praise his holy name. That when we get into praising God for who he is, we bring ourselves into remembrance of all the things that the great things that God has done in our lives. That's one thing that it really does. It really um, takes your 
your focus off of the problem and, and onto your God that your God can bring you through. So, you know, maybe there are people who have, you know, gone through some really hard things and, and today would just brings up another remembrance of the hard things that you have gone through. I, I we encourage you yeah. to, to make yeah. your focus onto your God. And we're just gonna, you know, in this whole entire time with you today with a song. This is a song, right? Yeah, it is, you know, God, God doesn't do those things, but what you, but the hope that we have in Him is that He will, He can redeem what the enemy has stolen. And you know, if you are listening and you know someone who was, you know, we're, we we were all affected by that day, mm -hmm. but the hope can be that He is so huge, and that He can redeem, and He can restore, and He can heal, and He can. Um, restore back and what the enemy has meant as, as harm to us. And you know, all it takes when you're walking through those moments, when you're walking through hard times and God feels far away, my encouragement, like Pastor Kelly said, my encouragement is have one thing, one, one song, one scripture, one thing that you're able to stand up and bust out in that reminds you and your body that it does have the power Though you may be feeling like you want to weep, that you have the power on the inside of you to require your body to line up and praise Him. And it reminded me when we were talking, it reminded me of um, growing up in church, and it's a hymn. And um, I remember oftentimes it was what my church would just break out into as we were leaving church. And it was almost kind of like um, they wanted us to walk out with this, and, it, and, and you may know it today, and it's just. It's such a, it's an oldie but goodie, and this is what I literally will just stand up when I'm in those moments, and I will just bust out, and it goes like this. It says, it's, it goes like this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. And then we repeat it. But then the second verse goes, for he has done great things. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless his holy name. So Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you for the power that lives on the inside of us through Christ Jesus. I thank you and I praise you that we have the power within us to demand that our body, our thoughts, our emotions, and our decisions line up with the word of God and what it says about you and your glory and your power and the goodness that you have for us. I thank you and I praise you that we have the power through your word and through Jesus to stand up and declare it's going to be a good day. And anywhere where the enemy thinks that he's in charge or that he's going to win, you will have the last say. You will redeem what is stolen from us. And we give you the praise and we give you the glory and we honor you with every part of our being. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray this. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And have a fabulous Saturday. See you later.